two, one. Hi, everyone. This is real estate coach Craig Proctor, and welcome to the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. Uh, today, we have Frank Versace from Winnipeg, uh, Canada. Uh, Frank, uh, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, Todd. Uh, sorry, thanks, Craig. <laughs> yeah, no, great to be here. You can call me Todd. I get that a lot. <laughs> I keep uh, seeing Todd on the screen. So, yeah, yeah, no worries. All good. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit about how you found me, uh, how, uh, you know, how you were selling real estate before you found me and what's changed. Sure. So, um, interesting story. Um, it's early, well, late nineties there. I was, uh, I was a stockbroker and, uh, decided to start a real estate company, software company. So, uh, we're growing this real estate software company and we're expanding across Canada. And I fly to Toronto to try to uh, meet with some agents. And while I'm there, uh, this is, uh, you know, 2002, I see this Craig Proctor real estate super conference with 1500 agents or plus showing up. And I thought, I got to go check this thing out because right. that's our target market. So I uh, I show up at the conference, not even in real estate, just trying to sell to realtors. I, that's funny, I actually, because I still brought, I, ke I kept the binder from 2002. So uh, there, there you go. That's going to be uh, in the Smithsonian. Yeah, that'll be in the Smithsonian. So I was, uh, interesting enough, I mean, you're, your entire program, the DISC program, and just the way you had everything laid out, that actually struck a chord with me. And I ended up getting out of that software uh, company and, and uh, hopping into real estate. Primarily, a lot of what you what you said during that conference just really got me excited about the real estate industry and becoming a realtor and getting into the profession of being a realtor. What does your business look like today? And what is your what's your your goal or vision with what you've got here? So today, um, we're sort of... Um, well, we've, we've taken down the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty Brokerage. So super excited about that. Um, you know, the idea behind that was I was an independent broker. I spent about 12 years with Remax. Um, and then I, you know, started my own company, Versace Real Estate. And then I decided I was looking at what is the next step for me? Uh, what is the next uh, way that I can grow? What is the next way that I can have a sort of a systematic way to create predictable results? And, uh, you know, constantly listening to podcasts and, and, and audios and stuff. And I saw Rudy on one and he started talking about your home sold guaranteed. So I started Googling and doing a bunch of research and I'm like, holy smokes, this is Craig Proctor. This is the guy that originally that I went to in 2002 has turned this into a brokerage. Uh, and so I started down that rabbit hole and got really excited and, and jumped in. So my goal is, is to grow the Your Home Sold Guaranteed uh, Realty Brokerage and, and expand here in Winnipeg and, and beyond. So right now we're, we're, we're running, um, uh, we've got, uh, I guess there's four OSAs, realtors. Uh, we've got an inside salesperson. Uh, we've got a marketing person. We've got a client care manager. Um, and we're doing, I don't know, but uh, I guess before, you know, just getting started here, we're kind of sort of around that 480, 500 grand in commissions. Uh, pretty good for not, not doing this that long. Um, tell us about what makes your operation different than most the way, way most real estate agents and brokerages work. So I think the way most brokerages work, I mean, is is basically uh, you know you throw a bunch of stuff against the wall and see what sticks. Uh, most coaches, I guess, out there don't have a system, don't have a a way to predictably generate a business that's coming to them. So it's all about going out and prospecting, uh, door knocking. Uh, hitting the phones, call, 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 trying to convert people and push people into, you know, hey, deal with me. Uh, I'm the best, right? That sort of messaging. And I think the main difference here with Your Home Sold Guaranteed is is all the USPs. Um, and when we say USPs, it's the unique selling propositions, you know, Your Home Sold Guaranteed or I'll buy it. Uh, and, and that kind of messaging that really attracts the public to want to find out more. So if I'm a real estate agent in Winnipeg, Manitoba, why would I why would I want to come and work with you? What would be what would be so, different or better? Yeah, so one of the things that's really important um when you go work for any other brokerage, you're kind of left on your own and you got to figure things out. You've got to go out and get your own business, which is, you know, 3 quarters of the battle is is finding the customers mm -hmm. uh, and then converting them. So what we do that's different is we're out there we're generating leads. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're, uh, we've are we got an inside sales department that basically calls those leads, scrubs those leads for you. And then as we find the ones that are ready to meet, we're popping them into your calendar as a booked appointment. 
So you show up and your calendar shows, hey, you've got a meeting on this day at two o'clock with this buyer or this seller. Now, the next question that realtors are asking is, that's great, but what do I do at the meeting? And so now step number two is we've got the presentations, whether it's the VIP buyer presentation or the seller benefits presentation. So now you're using our language, your language actually, uh, to convince the person that we're the right company for them. Okay. So if I'm a real estate agent that works at your brokerage, um, I'm not running around door knocking, cold calling. I'm not spending any of my own money to generate leads. Uh, and you're not given leads, actually. You're actually given listing appointments and buyer appointments Yes. when, when you work uh, on your team. So you pay for all the marketing. Uh, the leads come into your inside sales team. They call, pre-qualify, set up the appointment for the outside sales agents. So uh, if you're watching this and you're in Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, you definitely want to have a conversation with Frank because you literally would be going from listing appointment to listing appointment to buyer appointment. Everything else is taken off your plate. So you're not you know, taking pictures of houses or getting keys cut at Home Depot or installing lock boxes or doing paperwork. All of that is delegated to the administrative staff. Uh, so as an agent, you can focus on the thing that you like to do, which is make money, which is getting, you know, signatures on listing agreements and offers to purchase and sales. So um, why wouldn't every real estate agent in Winnipeg want to come and work with you then? That's a good question. Uh, I think there's probably a little bit, of, you know, uh, in fairness, I think there's probably a little bit of skepticism because mm -hmm. the industry doesn't work that way. And so you've got uh, the traditional system of, you know, do, you know, call your friends, call your families, call the for sale by owners, uh, knock on the knock on doors, drop off flyers. Um, and so when people hear, oh, this seems like a, an easier, faster, better, uh, more convenient way to do business, um, that's you know, going to give me a higher income and all the details are taken care of, it goes against the grain. And, and people are wondering, is this really true? I think there's a skepticism there. Do you feel a real estate agent in your marketplace could net a lot more money in their pocket if they came to work with you versus what they're doing now? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I mean, you know, when you're when you're just going and you're dealing with people that want to do business with you, and you're just presenting uh, a, a presentation that's already been proven and tested, and you know the result is going to be positive in most cases, then why would you want to try and reinvent the wheel? You know, you you the one thing that's really great that I really appreciate about the Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty uh, business is the university. I mean, you log in there and, and I know every company says we have training, we have training. Uh, the reality of mm -hmm. it is, is it's a mishmash. It's a hodgepodge. And so you're going from one course to another course, from one training to another training. And there's, there, is no con there is no congruency in what you're learning. Uh, with the Your Home Sold University, you know, you're, you're in a you're in a course with modules and it's taking you down a logical path uh, so that you have the skills and the, and the training so that you can go in and be successful when you're actually meeting with people. Well, you said you were with Remax before. I mean, they've got training. How's, how's this training different than what they provide? Well, I, again, so yeah, they, they've got their training. I think a lot of it, as I mentioned, is more hodgepodge. You know, it's, uh, hey, why don't you take a little bit of information on uh, social media? And then you get somebody that comes on and they sort of spit off a few things and they they tell you, oh, you should do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then they tell you how great they are. But there's no, there is no step-by-step -step, uh, systematic way to put it all into process. So there is a best way. There's a best way to do all of this. It can be all systemized. Uh, so then you can scale it and make it really, really big. Um, how do you recruit agents now? So obviously you've got an overflow of business, you've got more business than you can handle, and you're looking to partner up with the top agents in your city. So how do they know about you? How do they understand? I, I guess the old saying, Frank, is, is if everyone understood what you offered, right, and they all believed it, they'd right. all be working, they'd all be working with you. So um, how do you get the word out there to other agents that you literally can make way more money working with me, like net net in your pocket and actually work less? I mean, that's the crazy thing about it is we get into real estate because we want freedom, right? Which means I need to make a lot of money and not trade my whole life to it. Most agents either are not making a lot of money. And for the few that do make a lot of money, they do trade their life for, lives for this. They're working 70 or 80 hours a week where you provide a really great balance for the agents on your team because 
um, you cover all the expenses, right? All the marketing, all the administrative, uh, the signs on the lawn, everything gets paid for uh, by from from the brokerage. And you're lining the agents up uh, just with appointments, 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 appointments. And the other thing is the time and the training that you put into this. So it's not like, I shouldn't say every brokerage, but a lot of brokerages, like they'll say, uh, you know, come and work with us and we're going to provide you a lot of training. But like you said, it really, it's pretty lackluster, right? It's it's not like what you do, right? I mean, you're, you're actually um, committed to spending a lot of time not just the orientation when people start, but ongoing training. Basically, you're training the the people on your team forever. Like you're spending hours and hours with them. Uh, what are you training them on? Like what, what kind of, if I was to partner up with you, I'm in Winnipeg and I'm to partner up with you. Um, you're giving me appointments, but what are you going to coach me up on so I'm super productive? So part of it is, um, you know, when you go to meet with, say, for example, a seller, um, I think a lot of agents walk in, they sort of have the chinny chin chin uh, presentation, which is walk around, take a quick look at the house, maybe uh, pull out a CMA, uh, your house is worth X. And then, you know, they hope to get the business. Uh, what we're doing I've is never, not- I've never heard of the chinny chin chin presentation, but that's good. Yeah. So sit there, yeah. rub the chin, look around. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah you know, I think, I think like it's that. worth about 550. Yeah. Uh, right. you, want, you know, here, here's the comps, let's go. Uh, what are you going to do? We're going to put a sign in the yard and, and, uh, and take some pictures. Uh, so that's not powerful enough. Uh, if especially, I mean, it's fine if you're if it's your sphere of influence and it's somebody you know, it's your mom, it's your dad. That's fine. They trust you. But when you're going in on any sort of volume of uh, listing appointments, for example, dealing with sellers that don't know you, and they're going to pay you X commission to get their home sold, they're looking for some substance. Um, and so you've got to have a structured presentation that you're taking them through that's very powerful. And so when we're bringing, when we're bringing agents on, that's one of the things that we're training on. And so they're going through the university and we're also doing role plays here in the boardroom in the office on a regular basis, walking through um, what are you going to say in a listing appointment? How do you handle objections? What is the full presentation from start to finish? back and forth, back and forth, so that they're literally a ninja when they're sitting in front of a seller right. and they have extreme confidence because that's what a seller's buying is they're buying your confidence to get the job done. That's true. I remember when I was selling real estate, I, I would be uh, so uh, you know energetic and speak with such conviction that often halfway through my presentation, the seller would say, okay, stop, we've heard enough. Like you're obviously really into it. So yeah, your your passion, uh, but you you know you can't just be passionate and uh, you know talk meaningless words. You actually have to have great substance, which is exactly what you uh, coach up all of your uh, team members. To, they, there's a best way to do this. So here's uh, what we do when we first get into the house. Here's what's going to happen next. Here's what's going to happen next. And if they follow this system, they come back with a signed listing instead of a story, right? Instead of an excuse. 100%. So, uh, okay, so let's recap this. The name of the company is Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty, which is a unique selling proposition. A unique selling proposition, everybody, is like the reason you exist. What makes you different or better than anyone else? So you look at all the different real estate companies out there. You know, if you Google Remax or Century 21 or Keller Williams, but then you Google Your Home Soul, you'll see instantly there's way more searches for that. It is the thing that sellers want, by the way. Uh, you know, we as real estate agents think they want to list their house. They really don't. They want to just get it sold. Hence the popularity of iBuyer companies. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Frank, you and I were together in Anaheim. I think you were in Anaheim a few weeks ago, right? Um, I wasn't in Anaheim. We, you, Anaheim you I, was in, I was in Cancun. I was in Cancun well, for sure. Well, well, shame on you. Well, uh, <laughs> are, are, are you coming? Are you coming? Are you going to be in Toronto uh, over the next few days? We're doing a meeting there as well. Uh, I won't. I, I was. I was in. I was in. Uh, I was in Atlanta there in Buford. Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but anyway, uh, we we uh, meet with our broker owners and our agents on a regular basis. I got a meeting uh, two two days in Toronto starting uh, tomorrow, where our you know we'll have eighty your home sold brokers together in their teams. So we're constantly training on best practices. Um, so. You've got to have something unique that buyers and sellers want, number one, okay? Mm -hmm. Or they're not going to do business with you. So um, the ultimate question that every 
buyer and seller is either outright asking you, or they're at least thinking about it is, why should I choose to do business with you versus all other options? And in real estate, of course, there's thousands and thousands of options in every marketplace. So the name of the company answers that question, your home sold guaranteed realty. Okay, our name is our promise. So basically, if we don't sell your home, we're going to buy it. That's how that works. Um, this attracts an enormous amount of interest from buyers and sellers. Way more business than Frank or any one real estate agent could handle. Um, see, Frank uh, really doesn't want to be a real estate agent. Uh, he wants to have a business. That's what he has, uh, where he can serve thousands of buyers and sellers, and it doesn't just depend on him. And he wants all the agents that work on his team to have the same type of life where uh, they're making more money being partnering up with Frank than they would, you know, being a solo agent at Remax or another company. Mm -hmm. um, so if I want to find out more about how this would work for me, um, what would be the best way to reach out to you and at least have a conversation about how is it true? How could I make more money? work less and have a better life in real estate. Absolutely. So, I mean, probably the easiest way is to just give me a call on sell. So it's 204-292-4848. And, uh, or you can get me an email, frank at versacerealestate.com or Google me or find me on any social media. It won't be too hard to find me. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some hardball questions then. Um, so is this real? Do you really, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the ultimate skeptic here. So you're telling me, Frank, if I come and work with you, um, I can block off when I don't want to work. So I don't want to work Friday nights. I don't want to work Saturday mornings. I'm with my kids or whatever. So I can block that out. But anytime I have my daytime or full, you're just going to fill it with buyer and seller appointments, not leads. I don't want, I don't want leads. I don't want to call people where they don't answer the phone. I don't want to uh, make a hundred phone calls. You, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? I don't want to make hundreds of phone calls to people that aren't going to answer their phone or say, I didn't request that, or I don't remember doing that, or someone was playing with my phone. No, no. If you partner up with Frank, these are appointments. Does everyone understand? These are appointments, not leads. These are, have been vetted. These are people that when you show up at their house, they're not saying, well, why are you here? We don't want to. No, no, it's not that. These are people that want to sell their home. And by the way, if you're ever sent out on an appointment where they don't want to sell their home, Tell Frank about it. He's going to fix that so it doesn't happen again. Okay. Because we respect your time. Yeah. Okay. As a real estate agent, you want to, that's how you make money. You have to have respect for your time. So you're going out in these appointments. Now, as Frank said, you can still blow it if that's where this ended, where Frank gave you a lot of appointments, but you came back to the office with a story and not with the listing signed. Well, that's not going to work for you. It's also not going to work for Frank because he spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars creating that opportunity for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's when the training kicks in. Okay, so you've got a great name of your company. It's not Century 21. It's not this or that. It's your home sold guaranteed realty. Our name is our promise. So even the name of your brokerage tells people what you do and how you're different and how you're better. Okay, now you're going to decide when you want to work. I don't want to work Thursdays. That's cool. So you block off Thursdays. You block off some, whenever you don't want to work, you block that off. Frank's mission is to fill all that white space up. That's what's going to happen. He's going to fill that up as many as you can handle. Okay, so you get to decide how many appointments you want. Okay, you're going to go out and you're going to either come back with the listing signed or you're going to come back with a story. Okay, if you come back with a lot of stories, Frank's going to be like, okay, what's up here? Um, you know, are you following the system? So uh, Frank may go out on with you a couple appointments, may have you record what you say. But if you're not coming back with the listings, that means you're not using our system. Not that we're going to get 100% of the listings, but if you do this properly, following the Craig Proctor system, you're going to come back with 80% sign up rate. Now, remember, we're only sending you out on real appointments where the real sellers who really want to sell. So um, we expect you to sign up 80% of them if that's the case, right? Uh, same thing with buyers. The buyers are vetted. Uh, they're ready to go. They're not looky-loos. We're not looking to waste your time. That's why we have inside sales agents and lots of qualification that happens. Now, let's say that what I, I said is true. You would make more money here. Now, don't BS yourself about gross commission income. 
I recruited a guy from Remax once, Frank, and uh, all he wanted to talk about is how he made a hundred grand. And uh, you know, his ego was more important than his bank account. Yeah. Uh, this guy had he told me. Uh, I called him, by the way. He didn't call me. His ego would never have allowed him to call me. So I pursued the guy. I knew the guy and I called him. And I really had to work at setting up an appointment because uh, for him, even though on the surface he said, I, you know, I got into real estate because I want to make more money and have more time. It was more important for him to have his name out there and his name on the for sale signs. But his real estate business wasn't really serving him at all. He'd just gone through a divorce because he was working all the time. So he kind of mm -hmm. lost his family over the business. And what's it all for? The guy said he was he grossed a hundred grand. Then we got into well, what did you net? Well, what do you mean? Well, what do you keep? Well, this guy was spending forty thousand mm. to make the hundred. So you know, I called his attention to the fact: okay, you're making sixty grand a year. You're working seventy hours a week. It just cost you your your family. Um, we can make sure that you're going to make three or four times that net in your pocket. So first year he worked with me, he made a quarter million dollars net in his pocket. Wow. Okay. And uh, he was with me for 15 years. I had a number of agents that were, uh, you know, and this is back in the day, right? Where $250,000 was a lot of money. So um, we have outside sales agents in Craig Proctor world. Some of them make three, four, dollars $500,000 a year. Yes, it is possible. Now, Winnipeg, your marketplace, the, mar the prices are a little lower, but still, uh, so is the cost of living. You know, if you're making, if you're netting two fifty, three hundred thousand dollars in Winnipeg, that's still pretty good, right? Net, we're talking net here. Okay, most agents, they don't what they gross is gross. So we're looking for uh, we're looking for talented people. We're looking for people that want to work and want to learn. And we're not looking for people that have a massive ego because you're not going to do this. You know, for some agents, them having their their name on the sign or their their uh, their, their picture up there in the spotlight, that's more important actually than making more money or having more time, which I don't really, I mean, I get it. Uh, but if uh, ego is more important than income, this is probably not for you. But some of you, uh, if you're in Winnipeg, you're going to know, Frank. If you're not in Winnipeg, uh, you can reach out to me, okay? What I'll do is I'll provide everyone watching this, if you want, a one-on-one -on -one call uh, with my team, okay? Uh, with my, my team and I, we set aside certain amounts of time every week to talk to real estate agents that want to do what Frank is doing. So when Frank met me, he wasn't even a real estate agent. He was trying to sell something to real estate agents, stumbled upon the conference and here we are today. Uh, many of you may be stumbling onto our podcast here by accident. Some of you watching this, you don't know who I am. Some of you are our clients. Um, Frank, you've met people that have been with me for over 20 years. Yep. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. You know, I'm looking to create lifelong relationships with real estate agents that get it and provide enormous value to them. So some of you have found me here today and you're listening to this and you're not in Winnipeg. If you're in Winnipeg, by the way, you don't need to call Craig. If you're in, if you're in the city of Winnipeg, you just need to call Frank. Okay, we'll put his contact information below here and we'll have my contact information. For me, it's proctorcall.com. Just go to proctorcall.com. That's my acuity day timer and you can book a day and a time. It's not gonna be a sales pitch. I got nothing really to sell you. I'm just going to talk to you about, here's our approach. I'd ask you a bunch of questions about what you're doing, and I would show you how we would do this differently. And if it makes sense, you would say, okay, I want to learn more. And if it doesn't make sense, then just keep doing what you're doing. Um, so I have uh, more people interested in this, uh, believe me, than time slots available. So if you can get a time slot, you go to proctorcall.com. Um, it's a conversation. That's where all good things start is this is just you investigating what this is all about. Because one of two things, either, you know, Frank and I are making this up and we're full of, you know what, or there's actually something to this, right? I've been around for 30 years. So, um, you know, uh, if I'm fooling people, I've been doing a pretty good job for a long, long time. Or is there something here for you? There's two options. You can do what Frank uh, is doing and you start your own uh, brokerage, right? 
uh, you start your own team. Or maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you just want to be part of someone else's team. And there's nothing wrong with that either, right? If you want to make a couple hundred grand a year and not work seven days a week and net that in your pocket, then you should join one of our teams. Okay, we have brokerages all over the United States and Canada. Uh, so uh, that might be a possibility for you. Maybe that's where you want to start is work with one of our brokers like Frank, make some money. You can decide if you want to continue um, doing what you're doing now, which is probably working too hard for not enough or investigating this option. You've met some pretty wonderful people inside Craig Proctor world. Let's talk about the importance of who you hang out with and the conversations that you're now having. Um, I always say to people, uh, if you want to change your income, you got to change what you're thinking about. Obviously, you got to change what you're doing. You've got to start talking to people that you're not talking to, right? You've got to start thinking these thoughts that you're not thinking right now. Um, how much of a difference has that made uh, the community and the agency have met uh, inside of Craig Proctor? It's huge. I mean, I've been to a number of conferences now and... Um... The one thing that's really cool is that as you're talking to from person to person to person, they're so giving, they're so sharing. Um, it's really neat how everybody is just willing to tell you, quote unquote, their secrets where you would not find that in any other mastermind or any other sort of, sort of brokerage. Everyone's sort of keeping their quote unquote secrets together. And it sort of hit me. The reason why it's... Uh, they're willing to share is that it's really, it's not a secret. We're all on the same path. We're all following the Craig Proctor system. So no one's created anything that they have to hide from someone else. It's more about using the strategies that you've already put in place and just sharing that. And some people are further down the curve than other people. So, you know, there, there's nothing to hide. It's all out in the open. And that's what I really appreciate. So, you know, there's always someone that's 10 steps ahead of you and you can look at them and say, that's where I aspire to go to. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, you don't need to find something, someone that's doing it all. You just need to find someone inside Craig Proctor world that's a little bit ahead of you on the curve. And yeah. uh, whatever problems you're having, believe me, they've had those problems before. They're on the other side of it. They've got the solutions. And uh, when you uh, solve these problems and your business grows, you just have different problems, right? Maybe yeah. bigger problems or better problems. But as your business grows, you'll just continue to have different challenges. And there's always someone there that's a little bit ahead of you that's figured that out before. So um, to wrap this up, Frank, like why do this? What what drives you? What's your WIFM? So I want to put something in place that um, kind of that 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 can stand the test of time. Mm -hmm. um, that I could probably I, I've got a couple of kids. I've got three kids actually, and and one of them has expressed an interest to get into the business. He's still a little bit younger, sixteen, but he's expressed an interest. Um, I think that having something that can work necessarily without me, uh, where so, I, mean, I have something to be able to pass on uh, is really a motivator for me. So number one, uh, obviously, you want to make your life better for you and your family, make more money, spend more time. But yeah. You're looking to create a legacy. Um, tell me about your dad. Your dad was in real estate. Well, my dad immigrated from uh, Italy, so he's a uh, uh, you know Italian born and came to Canada trying to create a better life for himself and his family. Um, got into buying some you know rental properties. He wasn't in real estate sales, but he was buying rental properties and did uh, pretty well there. Um, and kind of encouraged me, you know, hey, get into real estate. You know, it's a good career. You can buy properties. You can sell properties. You're going to meet people. Um, and so, you know, that was something that got me excited about the business. Uh, my so dad. That was your first exposure to re real estate and real estate being a good idea. Uh, yeah. So your, da your dad coming from Italy probably thought, you know, uh, the opportunity here to buy land and everything seems sort of probably inexpensive compared to over in Europe, right? Yeah. Yeah. He was um, buying, you know, duplexes and single family homes. So I yeah. grew up and let's go over and paint the fence and fix things and stuff like that. So uh, seeing it firsthand as a kid. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah. I know your dad had some kind of uh, real estate involvement there. Uh, well, look, Frank, uh, I want to thank you for uh, doing the interview here. It's uh, been nice getting to know you better. Um, final thoughts that you'd like to pass on to real estate agents who, who have been uh, watching our interview here today? I would say don't be skeptical. Um, you know, uh, Craig, Craig laid it out pretty well in terms of what you're going to get if you come over here. So I would suggest if you have any 
questions or thoughts, or, you know, there's a bit of curiosity in the back of your mind, let's meet, let's chat. Uh, the, the best thing I can do is open up our system and show you exactly what is happening. So you can see proof, proof is in the pudding right in front of you. That's true. Um, once you see this, folks, you can't unsee it. Once you hear this from Frank, you can't unhear it. So you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Give us your uh, your phone number again, Frank. Yeah, so it's 204-292-4848. That's my direct cell. Well, I would uh, pick up the phone. I would uh, I would call Frank, have a conversation, see where it goes. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for watching our interview today. Uh, I hope you pick something up. Uh, there is a better life in real estate that's available to you. And that better life is understanding uh, marketing. Uh, putting systems and processes in place so you can make more money and you can work less and eventually leverage yourself through the efforts of people. So you have a real business. You can go away on vacation and do the things that you want to do. Real estate doesn't have to be difficult. I've been there before. Frank's been there before. When we start off in this business, the tendency is to look around at how everyone else does it, believing that's the best way. And it's not. So like whatever you're doing in real estate right now, let's be honest, you didn't invent it. If you're door knocking or cold calling or chasing Fizbos, you didn't invent that. You copied that from somebody. So why not just copy a better system? What if this is true? What if we're not BSing you? What if this absolutely is true that we can provide you with qualified buyer and seller appointments, not just leads, but actual listing appointments and buyer appointments, as many as you can skillfully handle. What if we did provide you relevant coaching and training, and we gave you systems and processes? How much money could you make if you were plugged into a proven system? You see, every franchise says, here's how we do it here. But let's be honest. I don't know if you guys are with a franchise, maybe some of you are independents, but most of you are probably with a franchise. So I was with Remax, for example, for 25 years. And as we know, if you work at a franchise, it's not what the public thinks, by the way. The public thinks a franchise would have a way of doing things. In fact, if you I think if you Google, you know, what is a franchise, they would say, well, a franchise is a proprietary way of doing something. You know, so if you worked at McDonald's, you know, the French fries are cooked for 45 seconds or whatever. They have systems and manuals and procedures for everything. That's not true in real estate. I don't know if you guys have thought about that, but at the Remax office I worked at, they were some of the top agents in town and some of the least successful agents in town were at my brokerage. There were Remax agents that were in the business for 30 years, but there was also Remax agents that had their license for 30 weeks. Um, not, that is true for every company. So um, the, the public, the buyers and sellers quickly learn that the most important decision is not just the company, it's the real estate agent within that company because real estate agents vary uh, quite a bit. Um, so what is it that the top agents are doing? Okay, what is it that everyone else is doing? What is it that you're doing right now that you believe you need to do? Because I don't think you're doing things that um, you think are, you know, not the best way to do it. You probably, um, you know, you know what you know, and you don't know what you don't know. We want to introduce you to some other thoughts just to consider. Doesn't mean you have to do any of this, but why not have a conversation? If you're going to be in real estate for the next five or 10 years, it would really suck, right? 10 years from now to find out about this and realize, holy cow, I could have made way more money over the last 10 years. And I hear that all the time from real estate agents. Frank, you've heard agents say, man, I wish I had to find Craig Proctor five years ago or 10 years ago. Uh, so it's not too late. Um, just be curious and be open to better ways of doing it. Sometimes, you know, we're stubborn. We get married to our approach. I think what happens is, is holy cow, I put so many years into doing it this way. Uh, I would hate to start over again. Uh, well, Sometimes that's what's required if you want to make a massive shift is you, you, you just need to start looking at your business from the outside. Um, I, I've coached agents now for years and years and years. And sometimes within the first five minutes of a conversation with an agent, I'm asking them a whole bunch of questions. And then I'll, you know, I'll say, well, why do you do this? And why do you do this? And then within five minutes, they have an epiphany. 
because they realize that they're locked into something that really isn't the best approach. And all I've done is ask them a bunch of questions about what they do and why they do it and how, have you ever tried this or that? So you should be curious in business because um, there's, I mean, that's the fun part of real estate for me anyway. I love the strategy part of it. I love the marketing part of it. Um, it's really cool to be able to help people um, create a business to get what they want. So I want to leave everyone with this thought is, what is it that you really want? What is your why? You know, what is your heart's desire? Um, or have you suppressed that? You know, in real estate, it's like, well, you know, I'd love to go to Europe. I'd love to buy that new house. I'd love to buy that red sports car or give money away to charity or whatever your thing is. Um, but uh, we're so busy working, we never really get to that stuff until it's too late. And when, uh, you know, they talk to people, uh, I was reading something from a minister and he was talking about what people say on their deathbeds. And it's not what we think, right? We think, what, well, people on their deathbeds, they probably regret all the stuff they did in their life, right? Oh, I, sh I did this and I did this. But he said, it's not true. The minister said that what people regret on their deathbed is what they didn't do in mm -hmm. life, right? The vacation they didn't do, the house they didn't buy, the, uh, the whatever it was that they, that they didn't do, it was the sins of omission. So I'll leave everybody with that thought. Life is short. We're reminded of this. Every time we lose a loved one, we're shaken to the core because it's a reminder to all of us, this, this doesn't go on forever, okay? So every time you're working hard and you're frustrated, and you're not reaching your goals, um, think about that's another minute that's gone. Okay, so there is some urgency to uh, to discovering uh, better ways in your business so you can spend the time that you have left um, in the best way possible. And we don't know how much time we're going to have. Um, you know, being Canadian, I've played hockey my whole life. And when I was 15 years old, uh, one of the uh, kids that I play hockey with um, got a puck right in the neck and was killed instantly. Mm. And he was 15 years old. So if, um, you know, we were to talk to him and before the game and say, hey, as a 15 year old, how much longer do you think you have to live? He'd probably say, I don't know, 70 years, right? Yeah. My grandfather, lived to almost 90 years of age. And he was healthy and rode his bike around town uh, till he was 90 years old and got sick and he, he was gone in a couple of weeks. Why do I share this story? Well, because we don't know how much time we have left. You don't know, we don't know whether we're gonna be like my friend who didn't even have a half an hour left or whether they're gonna be like my grandfather and live to 90. It's what we do with that time. So just a reminder, uh, we all know this. This is nothing new. Uh, we all know um, that life is short. So uh, let's get your business in order. I believe you found me here and you're watching this for a reason today. Frank's a good guy. Just call him. Have a conversation with him. Okay. I think he can tell uh, you know, who he is. He's genuine. Uh, he wants to do a good job. Uh, reach out to him. Have a conversation. If you want to talk to me again, it's free. It's uh, proctorcall.com. Book a, a time. We'll do it over Zoom. We can show you a few things. Uh, you can share with us what you're doing. Uh, no hard sales pitch or anything like that. Um, I don't need your money. I'm good. Uh, what I want to create are legacies. Okay. I want uh, people like Frank that are around me for a long, long time uh, that can say, hey, this is what I've done with this. That's what interests me at this point. So, uh, Frank, I want to thank you for a great interview here today. Um, look forward to you soon. I'll say hi to everybody uh, uh, tomorrow in Toronto for you. And sure. uh, to everybody watching, thank you for watching the Craig Proctor Real Estate Show. And we'll see you again next time. Take care. Thank you. Thanks, Craig.